Okay, so I just got done watching some ghetto ass shit. The Bad Boys LA. Child. It was a bunch of fighting, a bunch of drama, a bunch of bullshit for no motherfucking reason. But let me tell you something. I got my motherfucking life watching that shit. I motherfucking did. And let me tell you, you know, Andrew, you a bitch. You a real bitch, but you funny. You funny. You a funny bitch. And let me tell you, Mr. Telly, Telly Tubby, I'm mad as fuck at you. I wanted you to stay on the motherfucking show because you a motherfucking kiki bitch. And your ass gonna leave acting all like Nene Leaks. Girl, you, you know that bitch done sit up there and practice all of Nene Leaks' reads sounding just like her. Oh, what you broke. But you broke. How you gonna be the king and queen and you broke? Like, all this bullshit. It's like, girl... Uh, it was a key, though. It was a key. Just getting into it with any old everybody. Any old everybody. God damn, Andrew. It's just sad. It's really just sad. It would have been a good season, but no lie... You you would have got your ass, uh, yeah. You would have got your ass beat uh, pretty bad, child. Um, and no lie, you would have deserved it. But um, you know, um, yeah, maybe you would learn how to fight. You know, get a little get a little tougher. You're supposed to be delivered, and you acting like a queen, okay? You acting like a queeny old faggot, okay? And I'm gay. I can say that. Act like an old little faggot out there, child. You just, ooh. Little sis, he got a little, got a little uh, sugar in his tank. Ooh, J just come out, Andrew. Just come out. Ooh. But um, the other dudes on there, um, they, you know, don't beat me up, right? But a lot of the gay dudes on there, particularly Gunna and um, the white guy with the, that was fat and all the makeup and. All this extraness and yeah, uh, let me tell you something. Oh, but, 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 but. Like the shit to me was over the top and just way too much, right? And it made me sad because, look, the three dudes that are straight in the house. Well, I think, okay, no, 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 four. Is the white dude, um, Dylan, the one that's not flamboyant? Is he straight? Because in his intro, he said that he liked to fuck bitches. So I'm like, okay, but he be getting into it with the girls too, getting them a little reason. And I'm like, okay, is you, like, is you bi? Like, is you straight but just really comfortable? Like, what's going on with that? Okay? Um, and then the other straight guy, um, Curtis, with the beautiful tattoos on his forearms. Oh, he's beautiful. It's so, it's just so sad that he's straight. It's like, God damn. Why do they always have to be straight, the ones I want? I just want a hot straight guy that looks like Curtis and Moolah. I think that's his name, Moolah. Oh, he's so attractive. Oh, my God. Oh, but you can tell they are so uncomfortable in that house with all them faggots and sissies, child. Days is so unmotherfucking comfortable. I'm like, ooh, and it don't help that they're all Thirsty ass sissies gonna sit up in there and try to flirt with they straight ass and trying to get some of that straight dick. And I'm just like, oh no, you're gonna end up getting your ass beat, child. You're gonna end up getting your ass beat. But let me tell you something. Having said all that, it is no reason for a straight man to physically assault a gay man just because of the simple fact that he's gay. However, if he comes at you in a sexual manner and you're not, and the guy is not gay, and he has asked you to stop, it's fair game. And I think that's what Moolah was saying. But, um, uh, what's his name? The guy on Love and Hip Hop. Oh, shit. Milan. Milan. Milan Christopher. <laughs> he was on there, and uh, he wanted to get up in Moolah's ass. He said, they asked, what's your type? He said, Moolah. I said, oh, and you could tell his head, he was like, mm. that bus ride was very was very tense and very awkward and by the way let me say this there's on the surface this is a really ghetto ass hood ass embarrassing ass show for these people and the black community and the gay community as a whole this is shit is trash box gutter hood ratchet 
Oh, child, love and hip hop. This love and hip hop is like an Oscar awards to this motherfucker, okay? But there's a lot of um, deeper um, things going into it, right? Number one, the gay versus straight issue, okay? So you see that's gonna be a clear distinction and we already see that these old sissies, faggots, and punks are trying to fucking flirt with these straight men, okay? And as a gay man, don't do that, don't do that. And you painting this motherfucking stereotype that we want they straight dicks, even though sometimes I do. Oh, sometimes I do be wanting them. Mm. Mm. And I've had a couple, child. <laughs> now, but that's a different story, honey. But look, I got it a different way, child. Don't be do it. Don't be all thirsty, child. Let them come to you, honey. You gotta let them come to you. They gotta be curious and let them come to you. Don't don't come at them, honey. Don't don't come at them. I gotta put you up on game. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, but um, moving on from that, um, Darrell. The tall, extra one that's actually really cute if he wasn't so goddamn fucking, <laughs> you know, I'm a girl, I'm a girl. No, no, you're actually very attractive, but you got a damn problem. You got drunk as fuck and attacked them two damn white boys for no motherfucking reason because you were bad. You were bad that they didn't fight. Bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? I really hope that that was alcohol. Like, honestly, that was all because of alcohol or because if that was like, if this is how you really be acting. You crazy as fuck. And I wouldn't want to feel comfortable in the house with you. And you saw Dylan, that old poor white boy. Why did you hurt him? He was so, he was scared. He said, I don't want to get jumped. I don't want to get jumped. I'm like, child, I don't blame you, Dylan. I don't want to get uh, uh, jumped too with these crazy ass motherfuckers. They beating people up for no motherfucking reason. Leave him below. Deron, oh, De whatever the, Leron, what the fuck his name is. He is a walking, ticking time bomb. No, no, no. And the other thing that's an also main, um, that's kind of like um, a deeper meaning to the show that we're seeing is the whole black versus white issue. We've already seen now with the fight that the the one of the black, white guys and even or both of the white guys are like, you know, starting to use the kind of buzzwords of, you know, I don't want to come back. I don't feel safe. I don't do this. I don't do that. And in this situation, I feel like the viewers can sympathize with them because it's so blatant that Leron was just completely like out of line attacking them. But let it be a gray area situation and they're gonna come at those white boys and start calling racism and start doing all this shit. And I'm not necessarily just talking about the cast, I'm gonna talk about social media and all that shit. Neighborhood talk, shit when they gonna drag him and say it's racism. But a lot, but, but I mean, Leron, when you do shit like that, I mean, shit, I wouldn't, I wouldn't feel comfortable with your crazy ass motherfucking ass either drunk ass bitch. You need to go sit your ass down. Natalie should have fucking kicked your motherfucking ass out. I'm just saying, like, I cannot. Like, that was so whack to do that. Milan Christopher got your ass together and beat you the fuck up after, after that situation happened. And he should, right? Speaking of which, the motherfucking bedrooms, get out of them motherfucking straight uh, boys' bedrooms, bitch. Get out of their bedrooms. They asked you to get the fuck out. But you steady still up in that motherfucker. And that little, uh, the with the braids shit up in that, all up in, uh, Kirk Franklin's, um, son's face. Talk grabbing a beard and being like that. And the straight boy is like, why is this faggot all up in my motherfucking face? Like, I'm just like, he tried to, he played it smooth to try to get this bitch up out his motherfucking face. And he did. But I'm like, oh my God, girl with the brace, how thirsty is you? It's not a good look, girl. It's not a good look. I'm so tired. Like, the wig, like, no. You should not be on the bad boys club, bitch. Say, get, get on the bad girls club. I don't want to see you. I want to see bad boys, okay? You some other, girl, go, go on over there with your bullshit. Go on over there with your bullshit. Don't come up in here in the bad boys club, ho! But what else had happened in this? Um, can we just talk about Chris's tattoos again? Oh, I love Chris's tattoos. I have such a crush on Christopher. Oh my God. Christopher, oh, I promise I won't be thirsty and I'll keep it on the down low for you, Christopher. Same thing with you, Mulan. I'll keep it on the down low. And also, Kirk Franklin's son, you fine as fuck too. Now, is he gay? Because when they were asking, um, they were asking in the bus, and he kind of he kind of gave this vague ass answer of, I might have you know, the lights are off. I don't know if I might have had sex with the dude or I don't know. It's like nigga, how do you not know that you had sex with the dude or not? The fuck? So I'm like, okay, is that like a future storyline? We want to figure out if he's actually gay or not, or interested, and maybe he's just not in interested in gonna that thirsty ass long haired. Ugh. Maybe he just doesn't like that. Maybe he'll like me. Maybe he'll see this video and be like, I want to date 
Hampton Spears, and you can hit me up on my DM and on my Instagram. It's Hampton Spears One, darling. Um, but yeah, no, this show was um, was very entertaining to watch, and I will be watching, you know, through the coming episodes. I'm really looking forward to the character development. I'm looking forward to kind of seeing the conflict of the three dynamics: the gay dynamic. Um, the straight dynamic and the white dynamic. We have those three hot button topics there, and I think the production um, and Zeus will exploit the goddamn motherfucking dog shit out of that motherfucking uh, shit to get them ratings and that shit up. And I'm here for it. I'm paying that six ninety nine motherfucking a month, or was it five ninety nine? Bitch, give me my motherfucking content. Give me my things. Give me my motherfucking things, bitch. I paid you five ninety nine a month. I want my motherfucking shit, bitch. I want drama show me drama bitch show me drama and you better motherfucking play that full fight on jocelyn cabaret up in that bitch you better play it ho you better motherfucking play it zeus up in that motherfucker but no uh, yeah like i said y'all this was a good episode we go see what's gonna happen next it, i guess it come out every sunday honey i wonder how many episodes it's gonna be we go see, but I'm looking forward to it. By the way, my last video with the door body, fans that were in my comments, fuck you. I can say whatever the fuck I want to say about Normani whenever the fuck I want to say it, and you ain't got to like it, but I have the right to motherfucking say it, bitch. Comment on this motherfucker, bitch. Come at me. I'm ready for all that motherfucking smoke, ho. You think I'm that type bitch? I'm not a weak bitch, ho. I'm not a weak bitch. I'm that bitch. The only bitch I, that I am is that bitch, okay? Oh, Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment. Let me know what you thought of the bad boys LA and what you thought of the hot ass straight guys and the uh, hot uh, Christopher Milan and the other annoying sissies and punks. Okay, I love you so much. Bye.